Hello everyone, this is Chris with CricketUsers.com. I just filmed this entire video and then the screen capture did not save, so I'm doing it again. Uh, first of all, this is the Galaxy S3. Uh, I'm mainly doing this on the Sprint version, which is right here, rather than the Verizon version uh, version over here, trying to get it on Cricket Wireless with TalkTex, Internet, and uh, MMS. I was able to do that, I actually did it a long time ago. I put it on another uh, forum I was trying to develop, but that just turned into a YouTube channel. So, I'm putting everything back on cricketusers.com. Uh, uh, basically, if you don't know how to do something in this video, definitely go to the forum because that's where the magic happens and other people are able to chime in with what they've found out, little tool uh, tips. Um, I'm only one person and this is only what worked for me. So, go there and chances are they'll be able to work you through getting your uh, device fully flashed to Cricket Wireless. It works excellent. All right. Excellently. Anyways, um, I'm using DFS CDMA tool for this because initially I didn't have a build of QPST that works. Uh, Mexiking713 said for the Evo 4G LTE, which kind of has the kind of the same uh, insides as this device, that QPST 2.7 build 274 or 374 might work. I put a link to that on the forum as well. So basically, we've already obtained the MSL for our Sprint device. That was uh, already posted in another video. For the Verizon version, it's 000000. 000, 000, 000, 000. Uh, like always, we have the drivers installed for this device. To get the Sprint version into a Diag mode, we can just simply dial pound pound 3424 pound. And we'll come up with this. I'll hit Qualcomm USB setting. And I'm already in the uh, diagnostic mode, uh, DM, uh, works in that mode and works on the one above it. And if we go to my device manager, we should be able to see uh, that port. Right click computer properties. It is the morning still, ran a little slow. Device manager. All right, we're not using this port, the Samsung Mobile USB modem is on. We're actually using this port right here, Samsung Mobile USB serial port COM15. You might want to take note of that, although DFS CMA tool will pop up with the information as well. You'll be able to figure it out. Um, now the Verizon version, to get into Diag mode, first you have to enable the hidden menu, star pound 227459-2 uh, hidden menu. You'll come to this. It'll probably say disabled if your device is stock. Then you go ahead, click enable, and then OK. I'm running a non-stock ROM, and this dialer code doesn't work completely. Star pound seven two eight four pound. Phone util actually crashes, but it comes into the same kind of phone util that the uh, Sprint device here on the right goes into. Uh, so you'll see that it crashes. Someone also said to use Star Star 772. And here you can edit uh, your phone number. You might want to edit that to your Cricket phone number. The phone number, which is the MDN, and MSID, that is actually your MIN, I believe. Anyways, uh, let's go ahead and put up the Verizon device. That is my daily use phone. I might not be flashing that over to Cricket. You'll just have to go through the forum and see what other people say about that. Okay, I've already opened up DFS CDMA tool right here. It is the demo version. Demo version will have a countdown uh, if you don't pay for it. So just give that a moment to open up. Click ports. I do keep the log open because it kind of tells me what's going on. COM15, here it is. Double click it. And then it'll come up down here at the bottom. Go ahead and double click that. And now it's open. So I thought I had written down my MSL from earlier. I have to go on my work computer and grab that real quick. All right, so SPC field is up here. Mine happens to be 643547. And then I'll click Ascend SPC right there. Alright, then you'll see device unlocked, which is good. We'll go to programming. 
I believe under the general tab, this is what you would do differently for the Verizon version. You want to go to NV only and then click right, I believe. You want to double check that uh, on the forum, see how they did it because I haven't done it to my Verizon version yet. I'm kind of hesitant about doing it just because getting back on Verizon. Uh, I did have one MMS issue when I did on the Razor and tried to go back to Verizon. Um, there's ways around that, but I'll just skip that for now. So for the Sprint users, just go directly to NAM, hit read. I always screen capture this information in case I want to go back. This one already happens to be programmed, but if I were you, I'd take a screen cap of all your stock information in case uh, you need it later for going back to Sprint or for whatever. Um, right here you enter your MIN, 10 digit number, usually similar to your phone number, but not. Sometimes it actually is the same. Um, just realize it is a different number than your phone number or a different set at least. And sometimes could be the same, sometimes different, yada yada yada. Look on the forum if you're confused. Alright, 10 digit number goes there, area code plus 7, area code plus 7, same numbers. MIN alpha, MIN delta, same numbers are going into both those fields. Then MDN is your mobile directory number, which is your phone number. 10 digit number goes in there, uh, area code plus 7, uh, all is 1. And the same thing goes into the PCS field. I don't think the actual banner uh, works on this. You could give that a try if you want. Um, I think it only works with HTC devices, or from what I've seen. If you know your SID, we have an SID thread. Uh, you can enter it right there if you want. Um, I'm going to keep the preferred mode, uh, CDMA, HDR, it's the uh, 3G. Preferred service, system AB, band preference, uh, automatic. Uh, these three, I keep them on EVRC. Now right here, you might want to save what's already on your device in case you want to make a hybrid PRL later. Usually it's the latest uh, Sprint PRL. You can click read and then save that. And then when you want to load a Cricut PRL, go ahead and click load. We have a PRL thread. You can grab a PRL from there and set it right here and then go ahead and write. Now I write this usually last because I've had problems uh, writing other stuff to the phone. It kind of wants to reset after writing the PRL. So you might want to come back and write the PRL last. I don't believe QPS or uh, CMA tool can write a hybrid PRL. Uh, look on the forum for that information. Um, maybe with the new QPST build that Maxi King 713 talked about, you can write the hybrid PRL there. So next, go to data. Go ahead and click read. You'll probably only have like one of these fields filled out, stock, um, EVDO revision A right there, that's faster than revision 0, so I keep it like that. I do my 10 digit number at mycricket.com, password cricket on most of these fields, just look where I've done it and mirror that, don't use my phone number, sometimes I don't pay my bill because I have like 10 phones. Alright, anyways, uh, password field, don't check that, have it unchecked and write cricket in there. Uh, this field usually doesn't save by write it anyway, so I'll just put cricket in there. Um, I don't check this box. Authentication require password encryption. It's worked for me. Uh, check all the other things that I have. I have this checked right there. Um, I always go back and write backwards just because it usually doesn't require a reset until the very end. So I could just get it on one swoop instead of doing a couple. Alright, right here, on the mobile IP, go ahead and click read. I set it to simple, not preferred mobile IP, or just mobile IP. And then go to the profile that's checked, and write phone number at mycricket.com right there. Zero these out, just like I have it. Uncheck these, and go ahead and write your Cricket password, which is Cricket. And then uh, RMNAI, go ahead and write 10 digit number at mycricket.com. Go ahead and click write current profile settings and then go ahead and write this right there. Go back to data, write, NAM, write, and you don't have to do general, so go ahead and write your PRL 
at the very end, once this device resets, you should have talk, text, uh, internet, uh, MMS. I uh, used M. Rob's uh, method uh, that'll be in the tutorial thread. Um, data streaming, like streaming YouTube, Pandora, etc., over 3G. That's actually in the MSL uh, video and also documented in the thread. So. Please like this video, it helps me out a lot. I started a job, so it's hard to work on this and that as well. Um, I'd like to see you on the forum at cricketusers.com, and please subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thanks.